Hey, what's going on, guys? So today we're going to be talking about WWDC, which just happened a couple days ago. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. There have been a huge amount of updates from Apple. I mean, we're talking about Mac OS Catalina. We're talking about iPad OS. We're talking about the new Mac Pro that has not been updated in years. And there's a whole bunch of iOS updates as well. But today we're gonna to talk about the Pro Display XDR. Well, let's first look at what makes a good monitor for people who are professionals. Let's talk specifically about visual professionals. So photographers, cinematographers, graphic designers. One of the first things I would say is the resolution. How detailed, how crisp is the, is the monitor? Is it 2K, 4K, 8K? What's the resolution? And then the size of the screen. A larger canvas is easier to maneuver for a lot of people than a smaller one where you have to keep pinching and zooming or in the case of uh, um, video editing, you have to keep zooming in and out on your timeline. Colors are also very important. The accuracy of the colors, no one wants to take a, take a video or a picture and then look at the, the screen and see a uh, uh, magenta when it's supposed to be purple and then adjust your colors to make it look purple and then when you print it out, it looks magenta. It, it, it's, it's just crazy. No one wants that. They want accurate colors. Now, the Pro Display so far covers, takes all those boxes. I did, I did, I did f almost forget to mention build quality. No one wants a monitor that's gonna break within six months, even a year, even five years. People wanna hold on to their monitors as long as they like. And the Pro Display checks all those boxes. Resolution, it's 6K, guys. It's not a 4K monitor, it's not a 5K monitor, it's 6K. It's a 32 inch display, it's huge. Now, so far, do those two things warrant the price of $6,000? Because you have to buy the stand, which is 1000 which is ridiculous for the average person. Plus, you have to buy the monitor. So is it, does those three things warrant $6,000 color? Resolution and size, mm, I don't think so. But this is not just a monitor that you would put on display in your office just to showcase your photography or your video or even anything, maybe documents, whatever the case might be. This is not a casual monitor that just sits on your desk. This is actually a professional grade monitor. Now, what am I talking about? As photographers, you want a large canvas and you want accurate colors. Many photographers go out and buy expensive displays because they want to make sure they get the best picture delivered to their clients. In the cinematography world, filmmakers, many times we use monitors attached to our cameras because the small screens on these, these um, DSLRs and mirrorless cameras and some of the, even the professional cameras are, is not sufficient to see accurate focus, accurate color, which is very important. And also your exposure, how bright, how dark, whatever the case might be. Even when I'm filming this video, I have to check this video multiple times on my computer because the display on the screen, on the back of my camera, is not sufficient for what I'm looking for. And so many times these monitors are used by professionals because we wanna make sure we can, we can measure twice and cut once or shoot Double check your work and then only edit it once, not over and over and over again because you made a ton of mistakes or have to reshoot the whole thing. And many times these productions are not, it's not possible to reshoot them. Some of these productions, you're being paid through $2,000, $3,000, $10,000, even $20,000. And to reshoot a production, it may have cost the client $60,000 just to shoot one or two days of production. No one has the, most people want to sue you if you actually screw up their event especially if it's a wedding. So reference monitors now, speaking aside from the monitors you plug into your cameras, reference monitors are often on set because, or even in the studio, because filmmakers need to make sure what they see is exactly what they're gonna get when that goes on a big screen. So oftentimes the colors are not overly saturated, the colors are muted and flat, so you see accurately, because a lot of these, these monitors we buy from Best Buy, um, even b &H, some of these professional um, um, locations, they oversaturate the colors and so you lose, um, you lose out when you go into post. 
So this is not just a, a, a casual monitor. This is a professional grade monitor and it's also a reference monitor. The colors are so accurate at $6,000 that, and it should be, that what would normally cost you 24,000 as some of these Sony's and Panasonic monitors that exist from 17 inches all the way up to I think 40 inches, these displays are expensive. They're in the tens of thousands. And so when we talk about price, we have to understand what are the factors and who's it for. This is not a monitor you just pick up from your local Best Buy. No, this is for professionals. So the pro display, I see this as, I see this as something that, that is useful and can be used on set. It could be used in a studio. It could be used um, depending on what the project is, even as a monitor that you, when you're shooting feathered to your camera, you can see right away what these pictures are looking like before you even get back to your editing bay. Of course, you're going to charge your client for that service bringing all this equipment with you, whether it be a laptop or a Mac Pro, if you can afford one of those, or even a MacBook Pro, um, or even an iPad plugged into that 6K monitor, showing the client this is the, this is the kind of quality we're getting right out of the camera. And so I would, I would highly recommend this for serious professionals, not the hobbyists, not the enthusiasts, not those who are just starting out unless you, you've, you have that type of money to invest. But this is, a, this is an investment both in terms of your, your quality of work and also in terms of what you're going to charge a client because of what you're bringing to the table. So we're going to cover the rest of WWDC. I just wanted to cover this pro display first because it's something we're touching, touching on. And it's not just the fact that I'm saying it's a reference monitor. Uh, I believe it was Tom's Hardware that said that they had this 6K monitor next to a expensive, I think it was a Sony monitor, and the colors were, it was just night and day. I don't know what Apple did with this LCD screen, but they went to the next level. I'm hearing that this thing has processors in the back actually giving you the image that you need to see, not just displaying with light, but actually processing it so you get accurate colors and accurate um, brightness as well. I think the brightness is consistent. So there's no need for you to keep readjusting your brightness. It stays consistently bright throughout its usage. And that's, that's just amazing. Anyway, guys, we're going to talk about this um, more in details in terms of um, what happened at WWDC. Uh, remember, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. This is Seawall here. Until next time, guys, peace.